Live. Ah. We're live. We're live. Oh, okay. now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Oh, oh God, pain. You're right. <laughs> Why must everything be suffering? Existence is suffering, Matthew. It's like one of the first things you learn in Buddhism. Come on, man. Cries in Nietzsche. Right? Cries in Netzel's pretzels. Cries in Kafka. <laughs> Look, no one knows what that means. Right. So what such it, a such a Kafka esque cry. <laughs> that's just God, that's not what that means. <laughs> so many times where I'm just out in public and I'm like, this is so Kafka esque. <laughs> it's true. Especially all the times where you've turned into a roach. It's true. It's true. It's happened, and I got better. A newt. I love that shit. I got better. She turned me into a newt. Dude, back then, you could be the kid whose uncle works at Nintendo and no one could call you on it. It's true. Now they can get online and they'll know everything your uncle does. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all on Facebook or somewhere else. <laughs> His uncle doesn't work at Nintendo. I just doxed him. <laughs> you know? My uncle works in Nintendo. Just don't check his Facebook. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't have a Facebook. He's very yeah. off the grid. Nintendo says you can't have Facebook. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. I can tell you're not a real fan. Don't even know about Nintendo's anti-Facebook policies. He doesn't work for Facebook. He's the head of the Flat Earth Society in town. <laughs> no. Yeah, right. <laughs> And why is there a post on his wallet that says, Quit messaging me for shiny muse? <laughs> You're not getting them. Yeah. They're my shiny muse. Right. Just, I just imagine a bunch of people are messaging him after the kid says something. They'll just find him. Little Timmy's getting beat. Yep. By Uncle Jerry. Yep. Mm hmm. Throw his ass to the underside of the earth. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Straight through the hole in Antarctica. Mm-hmm. I miss when just being a flat earther didn't lump me in with Nazis. <laughs> Does it now? <laughs> I, well, all of the conspiracies just converged into QAnon, from what I understand. So I think every conspiracy has merged into that umbrella. That's a shame. I know, it really is. It really is. I can't believe anything anymore. It's a tragedy. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, Santa is not a conspiracy. So, That's and true. he's not even anything to believe in because I know he's real. <laughs> That's a fact. I don't have to believe in Santa. <laughs> I don't ask you if you believe in air, Matthew. Do you believe in gravity? <laughs> well, obviously. As a Dio stan. <laughs> As an Isaac Newton stan. Of course I believe in gravity. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Newton's sexy laws. <laughs> oh no. Newton's second law of being sexy. My body in motion stays in motion. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think I got the right law, but... <laughs> Whatever, man. It's still funny. As long as the audience doesn't know that. Oh no! no. You did. <clears throat> so who is this character? All I know is you have to fight them. I had to look up how to spell their name. Yeah. Because well, that was not spelled correctly on there. Yeah, no. I, I also couldn't read half of it. Look, so Look, man, fuck you. No, I'm just saying. Like, so I, All I know is there's look, one that you fight. You're being very ableist of me right now. And I am being very ableist. Expecting me to be able to write? Yeah, I'm being very ableist and expecting decent spelling for the character you looked up. <laughs> Look, man. I don't have to do shit. Yo, how's it going? It's a raid, apparently. Oh, nice. What's up, spirit? Hope you had a good stream. Everyone is uh, hitting us with the uh, pickaxes that say raid. Like the Shadow Legends? Yes. 
Raid Shadow. This stream not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, but Raid Shadow Legends send us money. Yeah, if you're out there, we we won't we won't do anything, but just send us money. We yeah, don't play I mean, your game either. I, I mean, I might put a little thing in the corner that just says, "Oh yeah, Raid Shadow Legend is a game I'll, that does exist." I'll say it, that we're advertising for Raid Shadow Legends, but I'll put the logo up for Raid. Uh, you know, insecticide. No, Raid. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's actually really funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually way funnier. Look, though. I'm doing it. Raid Shadow Legends. Obscura End. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Raid. Oh man. Let's zoom in on this a little bit here. There we go. Let's get this. Let's start getting this face on. Bless you. Thank you. Raid. Uh, that's made me think of that post with the 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 gender thing. Was yes. Raid Shadow Genders. Yeah. Conquer all the genders. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the raid. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so back to Wes's original question. Who is this character? They're a fury. Do you know what a fury is, Wes? Uh, is that like Guy Fury? Yes. The chef? Yes. I, oh, actually. all right. So they're one of the three Hokages of Flavortown is what I'm hearing. You're absolutely correct. All right. See, I know all about Greek mythology. It's so smart. Yeah, I am smart. Smart. Not thin. I'm getting there. Don't patronize me. All right. All right. <laughs> I won't patronize no. you. No. But I am very smart. I won't say you're thin, but you are very smart. I'm very medium. I'm extra medium. That's the size shirt I wear. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> but you... I love that from Friday 3. That's from the third one. Yeah. This is extra medium. <laughs> I was going to say, is, uh, no, you're, uh, you're uh, medium in America. And... Oh, the Hashiro of Flavortown. Ah, oh, I got you. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know they changed systems. <laughs> I wasn't there for the revolution. I was. Oh, damn. And it was not televised. I was gonna say it wasn't clearly. I was just about to say it clearly wasn't because I didn't know. So <laughs> let's see. Ah, did you know in Raid Shadow Legends there are <laughs> there are a new boss, the Hydra, fight six bosses as one. What? Woo! Do cool sponsor us, Raid Shadow Legends. We need the money. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Raid from Raid Shadow Legends. If you're out there. See, what people don't know is it's named after the founder, Raid. That's it. I believe he's it. a shadow legend. Oh, is he like one of those shadow searchers? Yes, he's just like a shadow searcher. <laughs> he's so yes. descriptive. But, um, no. So That also makes me think of those memes with the Taliban where it was like, we'd like to thank our sponsor, NordVPN, Raid Shadow Legends, and Audible. Yeah, I remember that. That was pretty funny. Um, no, so, um, okay, back to, this. Back to the joke, uh, back, jokes aside, uh, so yeah. Furies are the people that are in charge of punishing, uh, sinners, basically. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, oh, that explains the whip. Yeah. And each, um, what was it, like, Fury kind of resides over specific crimes. Gotcha. Um, I'm making a lot of noise because I'm going to eat. Unlimited crinkling chat. Is it, this is, you usually have to pay for that kind of ASMR. That's true. Alright, what were you saying? Uh, they she, each have one up for each crime? Or for like a specific a crime. Set of crimes? Um, to, to, what's her name? Um, there's three of them. Electo is uh, something, but the other one, the green one, is murder, specifically. She'll be a flavor to him. Uh, specifically is murder, because that's all she can say is murder. Alright. She does learn how to say your name, though, towards the end. We call that progress. Oh, cool. Which one was this one? What was that crime? This was the murder one? Yeah, that was the murder said? one. Oh, okay. Oh, this one? She's of uh, Jealous Lovers or something like ah, that. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, that was her uh, shtick. For the crime of not signing up for Raid Shadow Legends. I grant ye death to the fool. Mm -hmm. But does that game even have JPEGs for me to pay for? Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah, why would I play it? Uh, I think they have gifts for you to purchase. Oh, it's not worth it. Because they're not really JPEGs, I don't think. I'd have to check. I don't even know what you do in that game. Probably press a button and then get rewarded. 
it's, some sort of Skinner box style thing. He, from what I remember, I remember. Um, I think there's boss fights. There are fights and such, but I'm just trying to remember. Um, the Ninja Village hidden in flavor. Hell yeah! Now we're talking. Um, from my understanding, it's like a weird, like kind of tactical RPG that you go through levels with like four minions, and then they do things, and then you have different team parties. So the, gotcha. Uh, I don't it's know. It's one of those kind of things. Okay. Yeah. It's like Fire Emblem Heroes. Kinda, um, except uh, you you have animated characters and gotcha instead of JPEGs. Oh, speaking of JPEGs and video games, Pokemon is has a uh, their their final announcement tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's right. So we'll see what they get. And I'm excited. What time is that? Uh. Yeah. I, have to, I think Josh said it was like sometime around noon, probably. Mm. But he was telling me not to get my hopes up or anything like that. And I was like, well, all I know is that if, if there's... Because he said there's like only 15 minutes of, of um, whatever Schedule planned. Time or Schedule whatever. time. So if there is something for the new Pokemon game or anything at all, I'll just be like, all right, all you hentai artists, get ready. Oh, God. On your marks, get set, porn! Right. Arceus? No, there's already plenty of porn of him. It's true. How was that game going anyway? Oh, that's gone. Okay. Um, I don't know, how to, uh, again, I'm still just enjoying it, and I don't think it's like... It's, again, it's one of those weird games that where I'm like, I'm enjoying this mainly because I think it's because it's Pokemon. Mm -hmm. If this was like any other game, I probably wouldn't be playing it. <laughs> that makes sense. I think that's what that review said that Mike read, right? Yeah, and I, I agree with it. I mean, that's pretty fair. Yeah. You're doing amazing there. If all the little breadcrumbs. You got your pencil at the ready? Nice, glad to hear it. <laughs> it's brave heroes like you that stand to watch. Ready to give porn at any moment. Not all heroes wear capes, but maybe some of them should. See, what he did there is he made a joke about how the fact that, you know, you get a little messy when you get a little wet. Mm hmm So, you know. Mm-hmm. Careful out there. Well, it's also just so we know who the real heroes are. <laughs> oh, okay. Because no one else wears capes but heroes. Definitely not any villains. I'm very much of the no capes variety when it comes to heroes. I don't know. I thought there was no more heroes. Boo. Ah, <laughs> got him. Boo. Obviously, I'm a villain, so I'm down to abolish the even idea of villains and heroes. Damn. So true. Yep. Well, we have to move beyond good and evil, obviously, Matthew. That's a good game, yeah. Let's bring it back to Nietzsche from earlier. <laughs> I thought it was because we really liked that game. Let's see, what does this say? You're ace so you don't get wet. So even if you're taking a shower, the water just flies away from you? That's pretty sick. Damn. That's borderline, that's, a, that's an actual superpower. It's like that, uh... <laughs> Inability to get wet. It's like it's like the uh, dude from um, Railgun, except with just water. Yeah, I was thinking just of, shoots uh... shoots away from you. I was thinking of Naruto with the, with the... The Tensei! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. You don't have to invest in an umbrella. Oh, damn. That is pretty broken, though. You're saving easily $100 over the course of your life. So true. So true. All these other scrub aloes out here using umbrellas.
That is kind of like a superpower. Like you go into the ocean and the water can't touch you. Yeah, that's what they just said. They just walk on the water. Ah. I mean, not really walking on it. You're walking over it because you're being repelled away from it. But now I'm worried if the amount of repellent force is proportionate to the amount of water. Ooh, so like man. stepping over the ocean will just shoot you into space. Yeah, it could be a problem. Mm-hmm. the idea of it. Right? You just fall off the boat and just whoosh, you're gone. Oh no! No god! Whoosh. Here we go again! It's like the uh, the old poem book, Falling Up. Oh yeah, yeah. Shell Silver scene. I can't remember. Is he still alive? No clue. In my heart, he's alive, but in my mind, I'm like, did he die? Let's go take a look. And you think I would know that as the person who works in the bookstore or the library? No, it's a bookstore. You just don't sell. Yeah, that's true. We have so many zero days. Mm hmm. I was actually, speaking of, I was actually shocked someone just like had like a bunch of uh, like a whole lot of money in fines and they were just like, oh yeah, I'll pay it. And you're like, no. So, sorry, I'm not used to this. You have to excuse me one second. Um, You're used to the fight. Yeah, sorry, I didn't expect. Oh no, they're dead. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, nineteen uh, ninety-nine. Yeah, I knew they. So I, pretty good. I remember it was like a while. A, yeah, it's been a. I knew they were like, if they were dead, it had been a while, and it was one of those things where it was like I couldn't remember. I actually straight up didn't know. Uh, what cause of death was or anything. I just remember stuff. the like. Those books were uh, big when I was in elementary school. Yeah. That was like when they came out. At least that's when I remember hearing about them. It's that one and uh, Where the Sidewalk Ends. Yes. And then the Little Lighthouse one is another one too. Mm, I don't know that one. It's one with like the weird head that oh. turns into a house. That's creepy. Yeah. I also remember. had those, uh, what are they, scary stories to tell, was it to tell in the dark or yeah. whatever? Those yeah, are those. those. That art is so creepy. Oh, yeah. It's like some American Junji Ito shit. Yeah. You're gonna go lurk? All right, have a good time. Stay lurking, my friends. Mm-hmm. What are you eating anyway? Chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Just like the tiniest bits of the bread and keep falling off. It's really pissing me off. I can tell. It doesn't help that it like blends into the carpet. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Oh, since it's a, it, the whip is more ribbon-like, I have oh. to kind of like, instead of, it won't be really a straight line as much as it will be kind of like a, it bows out and then comes inward. Mm. Just based upon. Oh, I got you. How um, it's being held. Oh, I just thought it was a normal whip. No, nah, okay. it's, it's more ribbon-like. Okay, I can see in the official art there, yeah. Yeah, at least that's how it looks like in this. I don't know if that's like actually the material. It's one of those weird things where you're like, well, it looks, it feels like this. It's magic. Based upon the look. But yes, it is magic, so you ain't got to explain shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to explain shit, and I won't explain shit. I don't do shit. Mm-hmm. I 
can't shit. I Won't don't shit. shit. Refuses to shit. I do love. I do love that. Uh, what was it? That was from. That's from Louis, right? Yeah, I don't know what he got that from. It's probably just him being Louis. I don't know. I can't. I feel like yeah, it's. I have no idea. So what's everyone up to in chat anyway? Does it make more noise? What's everyone up to, man? You can't remember. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle, ASMR, ASMR. Throw it that way. Why don't you take that trash out anyway? The crinkle ASMR. Mm hmm. Is this a tough boss fight? Um, at first it was, yeah. It's one of those ones that since it's the first boss fight... Oh, they're the first boss? Yeah. Oh, cool. The, uh, and they they also constantly change. Uh, so you can change like the what is called the heat level. Oh, um, that's so kind of like the difficulty area. Yeah, you basically make certain parts of the game more difficult. Um, so like one of the things you can do if, to make this part of the game more difficult is raising the heat level for the bosses. Mm -hmm. Makes it so that at certain points that it'll be all three of them fighting you at once. Oh, that's cool. Which is really fucking annoying. You're screaming internally. Always. Sounds fun. Sounds like a lovely evening. What was it? That makes me think that there was a post where someone's like, I don't understand uh, why chickens start their day off by screaming, but I feel it. <laughs> Oh, apparently John forgot to look for the the vampire. Well, can he look right now? He said he's going to do it when he's on his way home. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was confused there. I forgot to look, but I am at home, so I won't look. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's like, what? John, you all right? John is not all right. The kids are not all right. John is never all right. He might be all right, but he's not all right. <laughs> oh no. I thought you said this bar was all right. No, I said this bar is all right. Yeah, that cracked me up. That fucking sketch is hilarious. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a very silly one. Mm-hmm. John is just one bad day away from riding the Peloton right into a ditch, though. I yeah, remember he true. said something like that, right? Yeah, yeah something along those lines. <laughs> Poor fucking bastard. Poor bastard. I love how Owen's like, I don't want any sympathy for him. He's fucking said yes to this. Yeah, I can agree on that. I mean, like, Kanusha is crazy already. Mm-hmm. Oh, those hetero problems. It's true. Oh, those heteros. <laughs> right. So that raw, raw raspy tune stuck in my head. I know, right? Soon we'll be able to play it again in peace. Mm-hmm. Russia's greatest love machine, man. That's true. I feel like if the invasion gets too hard, Putin will probably just back out. Because, yeah, they didn't, they're, apparently they're not um, advancing very far anymore. Yeah, I think they're kind of, they might be stuck now, I'm not sure. Yeah, apparently somebody like actually blew up the bridge so they couldn't cross it with the tanks. Yeah, that's usually what you do in a fight. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I wish you could do stuff like that in Advance Wars. I always wanted to do that. Oh, do the train. Because I fucking hate having to fight on bridges in that game. It's fucking miserable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I could just blow the bridge up. Like, they needed an engineer, like, um, 
infantry or something. Yeah, I could see that. They never added that, I don't think. That would no. have been sick. They just had, like, the normal machine guns, the mech dudes. Uh, mechanized infantry, just the guys with the bazooka. And then the, um, the next closest thing is the guys in the jeep. But yeah, I don't, they never had anything that was, like... I don't think, did they? They might have had something like that in, like, the very last one. Where you could build buildings or something. I can't even remember those. It's been so long since I played. Because they did have some weird things like that. I know if you got that um, aircraft carrier, you could build planes on it. That ship was pretty busted, to be honest. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you just build planes on it. <laughs> and then you just, like, fly them out and start cycling through all your planes on it. And just blow the shit out of stuff. It's pretty sweet. It was kind of funny listening to that song just because also like how historically accurate that song is. Oh, I know. And then it's just a disco song. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like one of those weird things that you're just like, this is... this is That band has some weird songs. I've listened to some of their other ones, too. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. Because so, they have another one that's about gangsters. Yeah. It's about Ma Baker. Oh, no. Zen Kaiger is trending. I'm not clicking on that. Don't do it, man. I'm not getting spoiled. Yeah, because uh, it probably just ends... It's airing, yeah. It should be over, I think. Yeah, because it's nighttime uh, here, but it's like morning next day mm -hmm. over in Japan. It was the man to please in all of their state affairs. But he was real cute when he had a girl to squeeze. I do think it's funny that they just had randomly had Rasputin uh, in that Kingsman movie. That is pretty crazy. They probably just like, man, I really want to do a movie where I can use the song for the trailer. Yeah, right. I wouldn't be shocked. Like that was the reasoning. Oh yeah, got it. Put him in the movie. I want to use the song. I was worried for a second there. Before? I went to go to Nya to like see if Zenkaiger was out yet, which is not unfortunately, which I figured, but, and like it didn't load and I was like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not again. I can't live through this again. <laughs> Well, the raw is out, but the subtitle version. Hopefully, it's out tomorrow. I would be def. I would definitely love to watch it tomorrow. Oh yeah. That way, I can try to dodge spoilers. Until Thursday. Yeah, I don't need to be just instantly spoiled the second I like go to just like load Twitter. Right. In all affairs of state, he was the man to please. Oh, what the fuck. Superman, why did I do that? I do like how he was a boss in that, uh, uh Double Summoner game also. Yeah. That was pretty funny. When, like, Ellen and Sabrina just ran into him, and they're like, what? Rasputin? <laughs> it's it's raw, raw Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very what safe. the fuck is he doing here? They didn't quit, man. They wanted his head. Mm-hmm. That's true. Did you see this card? It's like $30 now. Which card? Um, it's called like Hollow Haunting. This. It was like a nothing mythic. Oh, really? I gave a shit about this. Huh. 
was all the enchantment support. Oh, so. yeah. A lot of people were... Someone was talking about this... Um, one of the uh, sagas that came out. It was like a red-black saga. Oh, yeah. that Probably the... Um, that's the one with Hidetsugu on it. Yeah. Uh, that one apparently is very legacy playable. Yeah, it just blows up fucking everything. It's cheap. People were saying they wanted to try it against Hammer Time in Modern. Yeah. I was just blow up all the zeros and ones. Yeah, I was kind of interested to see what Modern shakes out now that Kamigawa's come up. Yeah, so far I've only seen, like, Seiju and the Blue Land show up for the most part, I think. Those, those are the cards I've seen in all yeah. the decks. Which makes sense. They're very good. Yeah, the Blue Land is in a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I've seen a couple of people try to play, like, the, um... Was it Moon Snare Prototype and some other cards. Mm-hmm. It's gonna take a while. Those don't have a lot of tournaments. No. Plus, also, just like in general, there's not very many tournaments. Mm -hmm. I did get to use my Beseju on uh, Friday. Nice. Lang, yeah. Someone, the Eldrazi Tron guy, like, searched for. Um, God, what is that fucking? I just forgot the name of the land. Uh, Blasting Zone. Oh, yeah. And, like, he just put it out, and then I was like, all right. Just blew that shit up before he could activate it because he just, you know, it was out. He, it wasn't at the right charge counter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, okay, he's going to be able to, like, pump counters on it and do whatever. Just blow this up. Because he, uh, I think he pumped, I think he put the counters on it, but he couldn't blow it up. And yeah. so I just blew it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. And then he couldn't search for a land because he didn't have any basics. Oh, my God. He well, he ha so the thing is that waste is not a basic land type. Yeah, yeah. It's a basic land but Beseju specifically says with basic land type. Yeah. On it. No. I knew that was I knew that was the case. Mhm. Mm and I was going to probably trip somebody up. Yeah, I knew I specifically knew that and he went and I was like, "Hold on, I don't think you can get this." You know, so we had to just talk to the judge real quick. I was like, "No, I'm not 90% sure you can't get this." Yeah, it was funny too. Uh the only time we had I had to have a judge call was because we were both like uh he cuz he remanded a flashback spell. And Roman says it goes back to your hand, and we're like, Oh, it just gets exiled. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure it just gets exiled. And he was like, I think so too, but let's call a judge mm -hmm. uh, just to be sure. And he was like, Oh, yeah, it still says exiled. Okay, we, that's what we both thought, but we we're just like, just making sure. It's one of those like. Yeah, otherwise you could probably do some really weird. You'd be able to do really weird degenerate stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Again, it just seemed like that seems way too like. Because then you could just remand your own spell when you do that. Yeah. Well, that seems a bit too much. Let me figure out what this is before we get too far in. March, though. Yep. Finally, my seasonal depression can go away and I can have normal depression. <laughs> Finally. Jeez, fuck. I just meant I was hyped for that JoJo magazine, Archon. Uh, yeah. Something else, I think, that's in March, too. Probably some game. Isn't Triangle Strategy coming out soon? Yep, it comes out next Friday. Yep, that's, so that's in March also. They were nice to let Elden Ring have its time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah, Tri Triangle Strategy is going to come in and sweep away all the people <laughs> fucking playing Elden Ring. I'm sure. I'm sure there won't be any part of this where someone's going to go, oh, right, yeah. Oh, shit, Triangle Strategy tanks horribly because of the fact that it came out right, uh, right after Elden Ring. Are you gonna pick it up soon, or what? Um, I'm gonna wait a bit for reviews, I guess. Uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna wait a bit, just in general, just because um, I'm trying to save money. So that makes sense. Um, um and then plus also, do I want to do that? Sorry, I'm thinking about whether or not I want this wing um, mm -hmm. to go. Uh, cover this this part here, or do I want it to just be behind it? 
Mm, that is a tough call. Uh, I think I want to be behind it. Well, yeah. I mean, you can draw less by covering it, though. Yeah, but I mean, I'd rather have it behind it just so that way it's like not full a whip is there. Yeah, the full whip is there, and it's not a weird tangent. Yeah, that makes sense. But um. Oh yeah, um, not just because of reviews, but also just because like, um, it's one of those games that like people will like have more info on. Mm -hmm. Like in the sense of like, okay, yeah, if you want to play it this way, you know, like here's how you play it. Yeah, because they'll, they'll have some better walkthrough guides. And yeah, because that game, um, com the way that game uh, looks to me, looks like it's gonna be one of those games that I'm gonna need like a little bit of like uh, hand holding to know what I need to do. Mm -hmm. um, not like specifically so I can get specific endings or anything like that. Um, more like so I can just be like, okay, well here's what you here's how you want to optimally you know like like what's the pro strat you know for your team comp and things like that. Like mm -hmm. is specific thing for your your uh, gameplay actually worth doing shit like that. Yeah. Because like um, you know you can mess with terrain and things like that and all this other cool stuff, but like. What is what does it do? Is it worth doing it? Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. There's all these classes, but are they worth going into? That kind of thing. Yeah. Cause like I know exactly what you mean. Like Fire Emblem is pretty good about having, you know, like it doesn't matter what kind of classes you go in on, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to beat the game. Um, but like doing the optimal classes in Fire Emblem is just so much fun because it's so fun to like break the game. Yeah. In that regard. So I'm I'm fine with like trying out the game like as it's meant to be played, and then trying the, uh, to do the game in a way that makes it completely broken. Yeah. So if that makes sense, because mm -hmm. like breaking games is a lot of fun, is a lot of fun, especially in like RPGs like that. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also good to know if, like, some random choice is going to completely kill your... Yeah, run. that too. Um, because, you know? cause, yeah, like, I remember that being a huge thing in old JRPGs where if you make one decision, like, that's mm -hmm. seemingly mild and seemingly, you know, like, not as important. And then it's like, all right, just make sure that you know this, that you do this, this, and this, or else you're going to just kill your run. Yeah. And you go back and you're like... Switch to entirely all evil mode, like, no! Yeah, yeah, and you're just like, oh, fucking dickers. Yeah, it'd be particularly bad if you haven't saved in a while. Yeah, again, that's because this game is all about, like, you know, choice and things like that. Yeah. So, and again, it seems to be, like, since it's triangle, it seems that there's, like, three options to choose from. Yeah, I'm not sure, because remember when we were looking at it, it was, like, there was those two kingdoms and then that super shady sketch other kingdom that yeah. was no information. So. Yeah, again, it was, I have no clue. That's yeah, why I'm, I'm not like, sure where we're at in the... that. Yeah, that's why I want to, like, also, that's another reason for me to be like, okay, hold on one sec, let me mm -hmm. figure out what this is going on, you know. If I had my own Switch, I would just buy it day one, though, because I don't give a fuck. That's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm crazy. No, I don't get me wrong. I just, I don't want to ruin my run, is, like, the thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. I just, I worry about that kind of thing. I'm also just going to be there 90% for the killing. Oh, yeah, yeah. For just highly efficient killing. And they'll be like, oh, the story, whatever. As long as, like, no one's completely acting like a dumbass, where I'm just like, why would they do this, you know? yeah. Because also that's another thing I'm worried about too is that like, um, do I have in order to get like specific like party members, mm -hmm. like how much of that is like you know who do you have to start with or things like that? Yeah, or if like you pick somebody, does that mean you can't get another person down the line? Mm -hmm. So if stuff like that goes on a lot in the game, I'll be like, okay, I need to be sure I'm paying attention a bit more here and there. Because, yeah, it's like, um, like you know how Mass Effect is like that? Mm-hmm. What I'm hearing is that you're a coward. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, like, <laughs> I mean, I just want to be able to, like, not have to do, 
too many to start over or something. Yeah. yeah, no, I feel you. Cause like I just don't want to have to keep constantly hitting the reset button just so I can get the fucking character I'm trying to get. Mm-hmm. I do love this username for this mono green Tron list. I actually saw this when I was looking to update my list. Guess their username. Uh, actually, it won't matter, but... Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I couldn't believe that was a username yeah. in that video. Yeah, that no, was... it's Donald Trump. Just straight up. Really? Yeah, yeah. someone on Moto's username is Donald Trump. Well, you know, honestly, I was pretty close. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like wondering when they made this account, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Were they just a huge fan of The Apprentice, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, look, I've got a bajillion T dollars worth of cards on here. I'm not changing this. Okay. I don't know if you can change your, your name on that, actually. I'm not mm. sure. I don't, I don't, I've never played on uh, Modo, despite having played Magic for so long. Just seemed like a waste of money to me, kind of. Yeah. It's like, well, I only own JPEGs. So. And yet you live in a society. All right. At least there are playable JPEGs. Mm hmm. Is your brush running out? Seems that way. Yeah, backup. I do. Okay. Also, honestly, playing Magic Online is, it, you know, in any form, it, playing any card game generally is just not as fun against a computer as it is against a real person. Oh, yeah. I usually play, uh, I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! against I computers. I was going to say, even all those old Yu-Gi-Oh! games. Yeah. Because, again, like, I played those mainly just because of the fact that I needed something to do during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't go out, and I wanted something that was free. Uh, so I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh back then mm -hmm. on Dueling Nexus, and it was like all right. It actually it definitely helped. Um, what's the word? Um, it was like you know getting your cigarettes in. You know, felt it, what I was talking about. Yeah. Like pay six dollars to remember why you quit something. Yeah, something like that. It was it wasn't even about like quitting. It was more about like oh I just need my fix. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I know the feeling. That's how it feels when I play Arena, where I'm just like oh I need my fix, and then mm. I just feel ashamed. Don't look at me. The money's on the dresser. Leave. <laughs> like that. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, wizards. I'm covering myself in a blanket. Don't look at my shame. Don't look at me. Don't tell anyone I live like this. <laughs> exactly. No one can know I live like this. Go home. There's money for the Uber. Comparing Magic Arena to some cheap whore is just really kind of funny. <laughs> right. Because it's... Well, I feel like the cheap whore. <laughs> well, either way. Yeah, right. Either way. The I just want them gone. The point still stands. Mm -hmm. That... Um... I needed my fix, and even after a while, it just was like, whatever. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't like it sucked. It was just like... Uh, yeah, I really miss playing with real people because yeah. real people are a bit more, I don't know, it's, I don't know how to describe it because I don't want to say that, like, you know, playing against a bot is like, you know, not really skill testing or anything like that because, you know, like there's the people like, oh, if you play in front of a real person, you'll be able to, you know, read their minds and shit so you'll be able to mind game them IRL. Well, it is part of the fun. It is, but like, you know, like, not saying it in like a... This is, uh, you know, a metagaming sort of thing. I just find it fun to actually see the interactions with people and watch them as they play because I find the actual human experience and interaction with people playing games is a lot more fun than just, you know, by myself. Because, yeah. I don't know, I feel like games are not meant to be um, 
Depends on the game, obviously. You can play a game by yourself. Yeah, but even then, even playing a game by myself, I always find that it's... The, fun, the thing that made the game also fun, too, was finding other people who've had the experiences you've had and talking yeah. about what you thought made the game experience great. Um, That's but, true, yeah. Even solo games can be like that. Yeah, so it's weird. Because, like, again, like... I totally understand people coming from it and saying, oh, I can't stand uh, multiplayer, everything, all that. And, like, that's fine. I actually like single-player games more, too. I just find that the... Being able to talk to people about those said single player games is another was one of the reasons why I really enjoy uh, gotcha. gaming because the game is always about like you know the community you know, uh, in a long long uh, long running sense of the word because mm-hmm. like you know you go even when you played like Zelda you would like play and then you would go take talk it to about your, it with someone later yeah or even like you guys would play it to get like a, it's a single player game. But you watch someone play, they take turns. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, gaming has always been a very community-driven uh, sort of thing. And I find that part, uh, that aspect of it to be a lot of fun. Uh, and kind of what draws you into it. Because it's like, because uh, card games in particular, that's a, um, what do they call that? A lifestyle game? Very much. So, um, you know, like, there's a there's definitely a community for that. And, you know, that's part of the game is the lifestyle that it brings with it. Yeah, that's true. Regardless of whether or not that's good or not. I mean, you know, all, mm. our, our, what was it, our shady backstories and the shady yeah. pasts with our mm-hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh um, dealings. Which, actually, I wonder, I wonder if our experiences with Yu-Gi-Oh were, um, are a universal experience with the community, or are they just like, you know... It always seems like it from when we talk with some people. Yeah, that's true. Because, again, like... Like most people are like, yeah, the community was pretty trash. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know if as many people were like, you know, how we always joke, like you have to lie, key, uh, kill, steal, cheat, mm-hmm. uh, and all that stuff uh, to be in the Yu-Gi-Oh's community. It was like, I don't know if that was like the same for everyone though. I mean, the fact that there was people getting robbed at gunpoint. Yeah, but didn't I mean that was completely unrelated to us? That was in California. Yeah, but like, didn't that ha- that's happened in other card games too, hasn't it? I mean, uh, most of the time for Magic, I remember it's like people break into the store at night. Yeah. There's not as many, like, just someone shows up outside the card store and is like has a gun to rob someone. At least I don't know too many Magic stories like that. I don't know of a single one off the top of my head. No, um, not that but I remember of. several break-ins. I remember that one time where that guy ran from the store that they were talking about. Yeah, and again, that's theft against a store. But yeah. there's a lot of player-on-player theft, like, for sure in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's very much, like, a often talked about uh, in... Um, a good light kind yeah of often thing. rewarded yes yeah, very rewarded uh, and accepted by the player base yeah again it makes sense but so. it's one of those things though where it's like I sometimes wonder like maybe there's a part of the community that we just never saw I mean they were all the people who weren't in the community playing Yu-Gi-Oh probably again, they were the they were the Yu-Gi-Oh enjoyers at home yeah that's probably what it you is. know playing table to the kitchen yeah they were kitchen. playing with their friends and then they would put the show on on Netflix or something and then they would never go play at the card store yeah that's probably what it is again it's tough I don't know so. I just like I, it's just something I kind of wonder about oh no I feel you like because uh, there's always that joke where it's like your experiences are not universal yeah but I'm like Maybe it was it was with Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, exactly right. So many. I bet you that everyone has their own version of the five dollars and a red MD. Oh, easily. I would definitely. I would believe it. I believe it in a heartbeat. <laughs> everyone has their own red MD. Yeah. <laughs> Let me t- weave you a tale. Mm-hmm. Of wonder and whimsy and red MD. So much wonder, so much whimsy. So much red MD. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, not any red MD because I don't think he got the. Apparently, MD. yeah. Gerardo said that Lane didn't even give it up. No. Well, he gave something up. I mean. Uh, I don't really gave it up. He just kind of let him have it since he was the one getting yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Gotta get him just off. Just let him have at it, you know? Yeah. Got to get him off the scent for K. Yeah. I only did it for the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, I totally did this just for the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You know? Suck dick for bus fare, then walk. Yeah, exactly. 
Claims to not even enjoy walking. <laughs> Damn. Going on a walk for my stupid mental health. But yeah, I, 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 I'm a big proponent of the idea that gaming is a very um, um, community-driven thing. Yeah, I mean... Regardless of, of single-player and um, uh, multiplayer status of a game. Yeah, it is. I've just never been able to get into like online community for anything. Yeah, no, no, I agree. It's just too weird for me. It's like, I'll read what people post online, but the idea of posting online is just like, I'm like... What am I offering here, you know? It's, uh, it's also, I just don't like talking to people online. because Yeah, again, it's weird. It's weird talking to people online. Yeah. Like, it's, it's weird enough talking to people over the phone. Then it's like, now I'm talking to them online. Now I'm Skyping them. Yes. Yeah, so just getting on with random strangers on the internet just never appealed to me. Yeah, right? And that's why... I don't know how those people can hop into all those D&D games I read about. Oh, yeah. Where they're just like, I was on the Discord server, got in some game, now we're all talking, and then whatever. Next thing you know, somebody wants to rape someone. Yeah, I've been trying to get... For me, uh, I try... Like, how do you just get into a Discord server and talk with, like, five other random people inside your office and play Dungeons and Dragons? It's very weird. Yeah, I've, the only thing I've done that was on Discord that was kind of out of like the blues because I wanted to learn a bit more about um, software stuff, so I got mm -hmm. in some Discord servers that were about that, mm -hmm. and I never joined any of their meetings, and I feel really bad that I'm still in this Discord server. <laughs> yeah, I think I've like talked to a couple people when I was in the WoW Guild, but it was mostly just my friends, and then what else? I don't really know. Not much. I mean, there's. The people that we talk with in chat here sometimes, but we end up knowing most of them in real life. That's true. You know. No! Oh, Devin, something's going on out there. No, I didn't want it. I do love hearing that sometimes, though. Yeah, what? Something happened. So I gotta tell you, though. It was... he, got, he got straight Elven when he wanted the ring. That's yeah. the feeling I'm getting here. He pizza when he should have French for yeah, him. Yeah, he got, he got just fucked up. Nah, I would say though he does. He did get pretty loud last night. What? He got pretty loud last night a few times, and I was like, I woke up to it. I was like, Fuck, God damn it. He was out there until like seven. Or or I know. Like he was up when I got up. Yeah. He went to bed like right as I was about to leave. Yeah. Yeah, I woke up at like seven thirty when my alarm went off, and I still heard him out there. I was like, Fuck! I was gonna lay on the couch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> nope. And I said nope. nope. Right, yeah, enough here. We got a portion of for later. Mm -hmm. right, let's get zoomed in. I did an attempt to clean a little bit more. Dawn Brother fans. Oh, I know, right? Praying for them. Right? <laughs> just like I prayed for the Revice fans. Right? Oh, apparently Josh just wrote this also. Oh, hey, Josh. Are you excited for there not to be any announcement for Pokemon? For a new Pokemon game? So I know I am. No shit. It's a raid. Shadow Legends, I oh, know. Raid Shadow Legends, give us free money. We don't want to play your game, but give us free money. For real, though. For real. For real, I don't want to play your game. Please. For the love of God. Oh, did you miss a green part in the middle under their arm? You're right, I did. Thank you for that catch. Okay. You know what's funny is, at first I saw the part next to their arm, and I was like, no, that's not supposed to be green. And then I just noticed that part. <laughs>
I'm there pretty sure that's everything. Yeah, that yeah. should. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. There we go. We got that. Now things are making sense. Ray Lee Mental, how's it going? Can be taught. <laughs> Naturally. Of course. Did you lose the other one? I did. Yeah, just go down there. Maybe. I don't see it anywhere. It just disappeared. It's underneath you somehow? Somehow? Maybe these are actually the only two I had. All along, these are the only two I actually had. Well, it's about the markers we made along the way. Yes. It wasn't about the finished piece, Chad. It was about the markers we lost along the way. Right. Josh says hi. Okay, I think I got all the colors. This. How's it going? Um, no need. Yeah. Alright, cool. We got there. We got there. Just jam them in your pants. No. No. You know what the announcement's gonna be tomorrow? No. New Pokemon puzzle game. Oh. Done. Confirmed. Pokemon pinball. Oh, dude, don't even. Oh, and you tip the switch uh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be sick. That would be so sick. Oh, I want it. Pokemon pinball confirmed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Along with, uh, what else, uh, Pokemon TCG for the Switch. It's not already on Switch? I know they just made, like, a new client for it. Uh, I don't know anything. I was thinking of like the. Oh no! You mean like the oh like, like the, the old school game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now we're talking. There's a new one of those. Yeah. yeah. That that would be hot. Look. Yeah, new pinball, new puzzle, new uh, TCG. Uh, what else? What else could we get? Uh, another oddly specific one. Movie. They announced new a movie. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Announced a new movie. Uh, is Surfing Pikachu minigame, is that ported to Switch? Can we play that on Switch? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Is that in anything? Is there a way to play that? No, I don't believe so. That would be the announcement. Surfing Pikachu has been ported to Switch. <laughs> finally. Finally. After all these years, the fans get finally what they wanted. Yep. <laughs> Surfing Pikachu minigame at a moment's notice on my Switch. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. exactly what they always wanted. So true. You're right. Also, I am going to run to the bathroom. Oh no. He's going to go die, chat. Yeah. No, I'll be back. I can't remember, Josh. You said you didn't play this game because it was a roguelike and you just weren't into roguelikes or had been burnt out on them. I think that sounds right. That could also be just me misremembering. I'm excited though if there is a new Pokemon game announced. I want to see the meme where it's uh, the uh, Andy dropping Woody saying, I don't want to play with you anymore. And it's uh, instead of Woody, it's Arceus.
Speaking of praying for these Don Brothers fans, me and Sabrina were joking earlier, and we just said that the uh, the black when he turns into a little dog dude, he's just basically going to be Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, this one already made up a picture, didn't it? Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, oh I gotta see that. Yeah, I'll have to find it. It was on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, because I was like, he's this tiny little animal with a gun and angst. <laughs> That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they just have Shadow the Hedgehog on the team. Let's see. Probably. <laughs> oh, okay. I think they're talking about from earlier. Yeah, probably the highest quality announcements you could hope for. Let's see. Uh, it also has been uh, over recommended to me. I don't know what the. What uh, oh, for uh, Hades. Oh, okay, okay. I said that Joshua didn't play, and I was remembering if it was because he was burnt out on roguelikes and if there was another reason. Gotcha. It's apparently been over recommended. Gotcha. That makes sense. I've been there. Everyone told me to go watch Naruto, and I just couldn't do mm -hmm. it, man. Well, if you want a game no one's recommending to you, you should play Chester Cheetah Too Cool to Fool. <laughs> Done. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My, dude, what? It's the game that has the guy from the Cheetos in it. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of who fucking Chester Cheetah Nobody's Chita. recommending that. <laughs> As they shouldn't. So you should go play it. <laughs> but that means you're recommending it now. <laughs> No, I'm not recommending it. I'm saying it's a game no one's recommending. Mm. <laughs> Tell me more about this Cheeto game. You know, I don't remember because I only played it once. Uh, I do remember it sucking. <laughs> <laughs> and being uh, possibly full of Cheetos. Possibly. Let's, let's go see what we got here. Just possibly <laughs> full of Cheetos. Not, a, not a guaranteed, but possible. I know it was not as cool as the, uh, I said cool, haha, -ha, as good as the uh, Cool Spot game with the 7-Up mascot. Mm -hmm. That game was much better. Uh, let's see if we can find the Wikipedia page for this game. Uh, probably not. <laughs> can, we get, can we get a summary of this game? There's a Wikipedia page for this let's game. Let's see. Mike. Overview. Chester Cheeto. Oh, this is a different one. So this is the, uh, I didn't know there was a sequel. Oh, shit. This is a Wild West quest. Nice. That's how you know so, it's... Uh, so it was good. It had a sequel. Never mind. Yeah. This is clearly amazing. Rift Apart? Oh, yeah, from uh, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, okay, okay. Apparently it was very buggy. Oh, really? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Huh. Everyone had been like singing its praises, so I didn't know it had all those bu any bugs or anything like that. All the people singing its praises was probably just everyone who works at Naughty Dog, or not Naughty Dog. That's their own company, uh, Insomniac. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this game's great. Definitely, I don't work for Insomniac. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's another good game no one is recommending? Uh, this game. Triangle Strategy. No. Uh, awesome Possum Kicks Dr. Machino's Butt. That's the full title for Awesome Possum. All right. <laughs> we'll have Josh be like, yeah, I played that Having before. Having played the shit out of it as a kid, I would not recommend it. <laughs> it is a worse version of Donkey Kong Country, in my opinion. <laughs> I say that only because I remember that you can jump and ride a rhino. That's, you know, it's pretty same game. Also, it's pushing its liberal agenda of recycling. <laughs> so if you don't want politics involved, <laughs> get into Donkey Kong Country. No politics in that, obviously. 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 Just an evil king oppressing some monkeys. <laughs> Standard apolitical fanfare. 
Standard, yes. <laughs> Man, I remember when anime wasn't so political. Remember when anime wasn't political? Like Gundam? Gundam like Gundam. <laughs> I'm never gonna fucking believe why I fucking heard that shit. Gundam was... I'm like... Uh, uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> Suck Jeff your shirt. says, the game crashed two different times during the final boss and lots of getting stuck in the floor. Huh. Huh. Also, sometimes voice lines just didn't play during the final cutscene. Oh, that's rough. Oh, wow. I guess I just waited till the end to slack off. Yeah, probably. It's like... Huh, crazy visual glitches, too. Yeah, I didn't hear anything about that. Huh. Yeah, I only heard good things. That's interesting to see. Because the gunplay was fun, though. I've actually only ever played one of those, and it was the first one on PS3. Oh, that one. I had never played any of them before that, but I was like, I want a game to play. This looks really fun. It was uh, Worlds Apart or something? or something. No. I can't remember what it was called. Um... Oh, it was Tools. Oh, okay, Tools of Destruction. All right, Josh put it up here. It said T-O-D, and I was like, I don't know what it stands for. I'm going to go double-check this. Tools of Destruction, that's what it was called. Yeah, I never played any of the games. It just looked fun. There was not a... I mean, I had most of the better launch titles already, mm -hmm. and it just looked really fun. So I was like, oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, play it through, beat it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Those games are usually a lot of fun. I've never had a... a the only... Was it? I feel like um, I kind of fell off though after a few. I think the last one I played like fully was uh, Ratchet Deadlocked because I never got a PS3 until way later. Gotcha. And so I never went back and played any of the other games. Yeah, I got the PS3. Uh, I didn't get it at launch, but I have one of the uh, like a, uh, not the original two, the one right after that. Yeah, yeah. The one that is like, uh, I can't remember how many gigs all of a sudden anymore, but it still plays PS2 games. Yeah. I didn't get a PS3 until um, my dad gave me the one he bought for our stepbrother. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, no. I have a normal 60 gig one. I bought it because they went on well, sale. I say that. He didn't yeah, yeah. He didn't give it to me. I paid him 75 bucks for it. So Yeah. He had to cut his losses somehow. Oh, Josh says he has the PS3 trilogy on disc if you want to borrow it. I'd be down. I do need to find time to play some stuff, though. Um, he says Up Your Arsenal is the best one and Cracking Time is the best PS3 one. Yeah, I know that um, uh, Up Your Arsenal is a lot of fun. I do remember that one being particularly a lot of fun. Because, again, um, what's his face? Dr. Nefarious is one of the best, like, just wonderful villains. Like, they're like that kind of villain that's like, you know, oh, yeah. takes themselves way too seriously, but they're like mm -hmm. really kind of a dumbass. Yes. The ones like that are always great. Yeah, I still uh, the only PS3 game I think I have left to play is Tales of Symphonia, actually, which is funny because we were talking about Tales games the other day. Josh says he was one of the best. He's just in too many games now. Uh, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he was like I remember seeing him like he'd always be in like the background like at the end of games and stuff like that because he was when, in the, at the end of the game he's originally from he gets launched into space with his butler um and you just somehow see them there every once in a while and then eventually they get off that rock and find a place to go to i guess and become relevant again yeah i'm not too sure again i actually only played one of them all the way through so mm -hmm. i think that's the only one i even played in all actually Yeah, it's been a minute. Mm -hmm. But again, they're always like fun. They're never like. Um, yeah, they're they're fun games. Just reminds me of you know your classic 
platformer type game. Yeah, there's never like anyone where it's just been like miserable. It's in the same vein as like playing Spyro or something. Yeah. Same company, right? Uh, or no? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Uh, I don't. Don't quote me on that. I actually don't know the answer to that. Josh says he's the main villain for four games now. Fucking really? That's that's too many. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, that's, yeah, that's way too fucking many. Holy shit. Let's, let's calm down. <laughs> he was great in his original one. He's not, I didn't think he was, like, that great. Yeah, he says they even made him the villain of the first game's remake. Really? That's, what? Okay. All right, sure. That's really stupid, but sure. Created by Insomniac Games. Oh, Spyro, Spyro is? Yeah. Okay, so it is. Is it the same company? Yeah, it is the same company, yeah. Okay, I was excited to I didn't know. For some reason, thought they were a different company for some reason. Uh, well, it seems that, like, Spyro's, you know, had several different... Owners? ...developers over the years. Probably from, like, remakes and other stuff, so... Yeah. But I was pretty sure. I remember the original logo. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah and Josh does it, too, yeah. Yeah, because that's what it reminds me of. I really loved playing Spyro back in the day. Yeah. This the good ones are insomnia. Yeah, I figured, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the first three. Yeah, those are the only three that matter to me anyway. After that, I don't, I don't even know any of them, you know? It's like, I know there's three of them, and then that's it. After that, they're <laughs> gone. Yeah, then there's like that Skylander shit, and then like the other. I know they recently like remade all them, the yeah. reboots that they did or whatever. Yeah, and those were apparently pretty well done. They looked cool. Again, don't quote me on that. I actually never played them, so. Yeah, I just know they were remakes, uh, but they went and like you know. Um, updated a lot of yeah, the... changed a lot of stuff up, you know, like yeah, the, the graphics, and then a bunch of the generic dragons, like the dragons that all kind of just look generic. They yeah. gave them all like individual looks and things like that, and personality, mm -hmm. which is kind of neat. Definitely, yeah. Josh says the rest becomes Skylanders stuff, just trash. Yeah, again. I mean, apparently the remake seems to have gotten some decent review scores. A lot of eights, eight point fives. That's not bad. Yeah, I wonder. That's good enough for a Spyro game. Yeah, that makes me wonder actually, because we talked about this. Um, how for like good reads. Um, oh yeah, what counts as a, a good review? Yeah, because like depending on the website, IMDb if it's below a seven, it's not worth watching. Uh, usually, it's usually just bad. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be above seven point five usually, or below three. Yeah, then it's a good movie. Once once the movie has a rating below three, I'm willing to believe that it's bad enough to to watch. Like I've got to I've got to like see a trailer and have some very good evidence for to watch like a five or something. Yeah. Like, I'm going to have to go read the reviews and see how many people are giving it 10s just to, like, tell you to watch it. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah. It's like our version of, like, well, sure, there's no dudes fucking each other in the ass. Yeah, right. Cause, yeah, I actually don't know what a good video game review number is anymore because there's so many... Um, like reviews out there and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like f four out of five, five out of five, ten out of ten. Seven, though. Oh, yeah, I mean, obviously. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I just didn't know, because that's another one of those things that, where it's like, 
Oh yeah, it's got good reviews, but those good reviews don't mean anything because they don't. The numbers that they're using don't um, matter. Matter, yeah. Like I remember, um, Game Informer gave Mur Moss of the Demon Blade like a six out of ten, and mm-hmm. then I played that. I was like, oh, this game's actually a lot of fun. Why is that such a low review? Yeah. You know, I went to go check the rating of this movie because I couldn't remember it. I felt like it was rated slightly too high. Like, definitely too high. Yeah. Time Crafters has a 7.3. Jesus. How? This needs to get Meg down to a 2.9. <laughs> Please. Someone. Someone. Movie that's definitely not a Goonies ripoff. <laughs> I love that review. People say it's a Goonies ripoff. It is not. <laughs> like that. Like, it is, in fact, not. I was like, okay, sure. You know? It's not because it's very bad. It's not because it's shit. <laughs> You're going to come and tell me that this. Also, when is the sequel coming out? That's what I need to know, though, because I will hella go see the sequel in theaters. Bro, I still can't believe that woman was really to risk it all. Right? For the pirate dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then a fucking husband comes back. Then the husband just comes back and everything's totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is why we need the sequel. So the pirate is there too. Yeah, because so they can see how this goes. Yeah, because they only took him to next Tuesday. Yeah. Like, what's Denise Richards gonna do when she actually has to choose between the sexy pirate or her boring husband? What is when is the guy from uh, Clockwork Orange gonna come back? Exactly. Because I don't think he died, did he? No, he didn't die. No, but his parrot. Now his parrot got hit directly with a cannonball. <laughs> so so definitely dead. Probably dead unless it comes back as a pirate cyborg parrot, <coughs> which would be sick. <laughs> Time travel is in this franchise. <laughs> <laughs> it was already CG also. Yeah. So. Yeah. God, that's miserable. So it will be a very easy upgrade. It was miserable. <laughs> Josh says that movie was much better than it had any right to be. <laughs> that's true. It was much more enjoyable than it had any right to be, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed watching it because it was just so like I'm just like what like they, the pirate riddle some of the shit they just solve it out of nowhere for no yeah. reason they're just like oh yeah something whatever I'm gonna open this book oh there it is it's been there for hundreds of years <laughs> hundreds of years my ass dude hundreds of years no one not to open up this book no one opened the book that None. was on this random church shelf uh, come on nope didn't do it my fucking ass dude nope didn't happen the random just rock that was on the ground by the lighthouse yeah you know? yeah oh we just totally found it there <laughs> yeah it makes sense if you think about it <laughs> he says who even reads anymore yeah exactly I know, right? But it was there when people were reading. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and people were touching grass back then. They might have found that out there. People are touching grass. <laughs> people were touching it back then. They were, yes. Much to this dismay of many, they were in fact touching grass. I do love that though when it's just like Denise Richard just decides to go all in on becoming a pirate girl. Oh yeah. To get with them. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just so dumb. I'm just I'm ready to move on and get with this random pirate actor that just showed up. Cause he's hot. Let's do it. <laughs> Fucking kid, I loved it. I did love that part though, where the fucking hairdress, hairdresser lady's like, "Everyone leave. Everyone get out. Get out. I'm making my girl sexy." I gotta do this. She's gonna have to get a swerve on. <laughs> Which, yeah, no, that, 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 like, that alone was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that alone. Josh says the sequel will explain all of this by having the protagonist use the time machine to plant all of that stuff for them to find. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I can only hope. Oh. Please. Oh, Please God. do it. I, I This is why I fucking hate time travel. Please do it. God, I hate time travel as a concept. Oh, man. Because it's always done so fucking poorly. I need it. It's always just done so fucking lazily. Not always. 
But most of the time. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're going to be a smart film, so we're going to have time travel. Ooh, look how smart we are. Mm. We're going to use time travel incorrectly. I mean, there's no rules to time travel, so... I mean, they just you don't... You can't use it incorrectly. I mean, the, the problem is that they just don't make any rules. They just kind of, like, go and then, like, change the rules as they go. No one ever does, like, a fucking... Oh, or have his dad do it? Oh, that makes sense, actually, since he was in the past. Oh, that's true. He was already there. He was already there. Mm-hmm. He was always there. Yeah, right. Right there in your cocoa. And that fucking one guy turned out to be a pirate, too. The, yeah, the I like how they're obviously, like, making it like he's evil or something. Yeah. And then it's just like, he was actually a pirate. <laughs> that was kind of awesome. Yeah. I was like, wait. Because <laughs> you just knew he was trying to get with the mom, but you didn't, like... Yeah. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Just takes his dad's spot, so of course he should also take his wife, too, you know? Yeah. That sequence where they're going through the little time portal, though, was so fucking bad. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, I remember we just started laughing our asses off in the theater. I still can't believe you saw this in the theaters. Dude, you should have come with me, man. It was fucking hype. Nah, I'm good, fam. <laughs> Yeah, it was me, Sabrina, and one random person, like, eight rows down from us. He was probably the reviewer. I can only hope that we ruined their review by never shutting up and constantly laughing at everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining he's, like, directly related to someone who built, made the movie. Or some shit. <laughs> They're ruining this. They don't understand my brother's vision. This is a masterpiece, and they're mocking it. Uh, You're laughing. People are dying and you are laughing. Right. Hey, the set design was pretty good on the pirate ship. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give them that. The set design, costume design. I'll give them that. So there was, you know. Yeah, things happened, you know. You know, yeah, there were, things happened, you know. At least it wasn't boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. The movie wasn't boring. Shit happened. Yeah, it was definitely- Was it good? Debatable. <laughs> But was it happening? Yes. 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 <laughs> no one can say things did not happen in that movie. It's true. No one cannot. Oh, man. I actually almost forgot that Josh watched that with us. I was like, wait. Just... I did until he mentioned it. I was like, that's right. He was there. Yeah, he was there. I remember <laughs> he that. He was there. And yeah, now I'm remembering everything. Yeah. It's like, again, I kind of, I just remember that movie existing. I don't remember who I was when I watched it. <laughs> you emerged a new person, that's why. Oh, that must make sense, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> he says, I like when the pirates learn to brush their teeth. Yeah. And the fortune teller scene, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty funny, yeah. And then at the end, though, the robot is like, no, come back. Like, it was talking. That was- yeah. Oh, come back. Oh, no, I'm just joking. Is this another time traveler stranded? A future pirate robot? Yeah. <laughs> who knows, man? Only God and the man who directed this movie. Yeah, only God and the scriptwriter know. Nah, I don't even think the scriptwriter knew. Damn. They didn't even know they wrote it. They just they were, they were just possessed and wrote yeah. it. Yeah. It was... In a drug-induced fever hallucination. It was a divine intervention. It really was. God came in was like, yeah, mm-hmm. you gotta put this in the movie, man. I this got has this, to exist. This has to. Dude, this was the funniest thing I wrote. Yeah. Other than the existence of mankind, mm-hmm. this is the best joke I've ever made. It's true. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> Just the idea of that is pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen any weird theater gems, you know, pop out there lately. Yeah, but I haven't really looked. Yeah. There hasn't been much need to look either. I don't know if anything uh, weird is going to come on. Someone was that. asking me today if I was, like, excited for the Academy Awards. I was like, bro, the Academy Awards haven't, like, been good since fucking the artist won Best Picture. Yeah, right. Like, how is that even relevant? Yeah. In this fucking day and age? No, no. Yeah. I remember when I was like... Do they even add in movies that are streaming only? I don't know, actually. Because, again, also, yeah, film this year has just been, like, kind of abysmal in general. Just because, you know, you can't really go to the theater. Yeah, I actually don't know, like, what quote-unquote good movies have come out like that. 
this year or you know what I don't know what movies are even up for nominated or anything. Uh yeah, I don't know either. I just know that like oh, what is this movie? I've seen the art for this movie. I know that Shape of Water, I think, was the only Oscar nomination that I was like, yeah, this probably deserves Best Picture, like, way back, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, most of the time, I'm just like, nah, it's not what I like watching. There's nothing interesting. Also, because, like, Oscar bait movies are just so fucking annoying to watch. Because they're all, like, you know, very, like, very formulaic, and there's always, like, a specific demographic they're targeting, and, and like, mm -hmm. ugh, it's just annoying. Especially because a lot of them end up being like those dumb white savior complex movies that get in there. Like, uh, what was that? That that movie um, with Aragon that was in it, um, where he's driving around the, the civil rights guy. I have no idea what movie that is at all. I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, it's something, it's like something book or something. Nope. I have no idea. I'll be honest. That's fine. It wasn't very good. It was, but it was something that got nominated for an Oscar because it fits that bill of like, you know, oh, look, we're talking about race and we're talking about it in a way that makes the white man look good. Gotcha. I, just, I get tired of that. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, Poltergeist is going to be in theaters, but that's in September. That makes sense. So probably an anniversary. Yeah, 40th anniversary. Might go check that out. That's a good movie. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've seen that film. All right. It doesn't look like there's a lot of good stuff listed on Bathroom Events currently. So tragic yeah right um, let's see. I do know I think the Jujutsu Kaisen movie is supposed to air sometime over here soon oh yeah Josh are you interested in going to see that movie because I know you enjoyed Jujutsu Kaisen, or I believe you enjoyed Jujutsu Kaisen. I remember talking about my best friend though. Mm. March 18th. Don't think I'm anywhere. Yeah, I don't. What? When are we at that con? Oh, uh, the 20th. 20th? Wait. Well, oh, hold on. March. Well, the 20th is a Sunday, though. Oh, then that's, uh... I'll look it up. Then it must be the 18th through the 20th, then. Uh, yeah, 18th through the 20th. Okay. Uh, we could go see if there's a theater in... <laughs> If where we're at New Mexico showing it. Fuck it. That'd be great. I'd be down. <laughs> if I don't have any commissions. Yeah. Which means the show's probably not going well. Yeah, right. That's how, that's how Vegas was. So if, if there's no commissions, um, I'd rather just watch the rest of the Evangelion movies since I haven't seen them yet. That's true. I do kind of want to see this movie, though. Yeah, either way. place at like albuquerque right uh sure yeah probably it's, i haven't checked in a minute yeah no, i'm looking <laughs> Fuck it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, hey, we'll see what's going on. I don't know how close they are to the convention. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna. I mean, I don't know. It's in Albuquerque. We're driving though. Yeah. So. There's some show times that are at like nine, nine o'clock. Okay. Well, I still haven't booked a hotel either, so... Oh, okay. I didn't book it because I didn't know uh, what the 
the situation was because it made it sound at one point it made it sound like uh, Ellen and Serena were trying to go with us. Yeah, I think they for some reason they thought it was in April. I don't know why. I was like talking with Sabrina, and then she was like talking about it, and then I was like, "Oh, okay." And then this, they were like, "Wait, hold on, March?" I was like, "Yeah, that's what I said." And they're like, "I don't know, you know." Yeah, so, no, I, I don't know. Either. I think they can't do it anymore. Is what I okay, cool. So that that at least answers that question. So I can yeah, go. I'm about nine thousand percent sure they're not coming. All right. Because yeah, that kind of changes the dynamic. Because um, Airbnbs, they really, they really are sticklers for how many people are showing up. Yeah. So that's why I was like. Well, they don't just want you inviting over like Anyone. fifty people. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is one of those things where I was like, "Tell me." Mm-hmm. Needs to know. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say, were you? I, I mean, know I you missed that part or not? Uh, I just gotta do. I'm doing some blue as well. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Right, Yuru Camp is uh, getting the movie. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I doubt it'll be out in theaters over here. Probably not. But The One Piece movie might be, though. Which movie? What is it? Oh, the Red Where One? They're making that Red movie? Yeah. Yeah. That's later in the year, though. Most of these are all later in the year. Can y'all believe they found the One Piece? All right. I believe there's only two people in the world that know the ending to One Piece. It's crazy. It's insane. think that the uh, editor has been trained to be susceptible, no longer susceptible to torture? Yeah, definitely. It's like... There's no way you could torture it out of him. Yeah. Like, just tell me the end of the one piece. No. Spits in your face. Yeah, yeah. You're about to kill me first. I'm like, no! <laughs> yeah. You can't be hypnotized either. Yeah, can't be hypnotized. Yeah, can't be hypnotized, can't be tortured. None of that shit. None of that shit works. Nope. He's fucking trained. Yeah. <laughs> he's fucking trained him. It's like, wait, you know the ending to One Piece? Yeah. Oh shit, we got we got a special training. Unbreakable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got a special training. He's not susceptible to inception. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. nothing. There's no way to get in his head. Yeah, it's impossible. You can't even use the weird dream machine from the cell. You can't use nothing. Nothing. Nothing works on him. Just... <laughs> fucking yeah. impenetrable yeah his mind is like a fortress just like a fortress mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah no one is getting that out of his brain <laughs> there's some sort of a fail safe too where he commits suicide somehow <laughs> yeah it's somehow. just like wired into his brain somehow yeah, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because no, it senses like too much psychic activity invading his mind. <laughs> I can only imagine that because it's just like we like Oda like I, he has like brain implants or something to block it. You know, mm -hmm. like it's stored digitally so that it can't be read psychically. <laughs> Somehow that works, yeah. But dude, what? It's clearly that makes sense. Think about it. Uh, yeah. You need like a technomancer to read it. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know technomancers are just fantasy. Yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> that's fucking. That's not real life. We're talking about mind reading here. What the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> 